John, we've had a question come in from Karen Reeder, and her Twitter handle is at MovieHood. And she writes, what does it take to submit a spec script for TV? Well, first of all, you've got to have a really good spec script. And what a lot of writers think is that the big obstacle is sending the script in. And that certainly is an obstacle because you do need an agent to get it through the door, to have somebody look at it. But by far the bigger obstacle that writers face is writing a spec script that's good enough to be sent in in the first place. And this is where learning the craft is so important and where writing a spec script of a particular show and executing it really well is so important. Keep in mind that when you send a spec script in, it will be read by someone of uh, where whatever shows they send the spec script to. It will be read by somebody on that show. And what they're looking for is, did you execute the way this show is done? Because each show has a very specific set of rules. Of the, we do these things and we don't do those things. And if you don't know that, and you <laughs> make the mistake, for example, some shows do not have cliffhangers. They won't do that. And if you write cliffhangers in your episode, it's out. They want to see, can you write this show? Because remember, that, that, that's very challenging for a writer. This is not something that you are creating from scratch, as you would with a spec movie script. This is, you are writing a story for a show that's already been created, for characters that have already been created. Can you get your voice into that show? That's what they're looking for. And can you tell a great story? One of the things I always talk about in the, the TV sitcom class is that the perception of writers trying to break in is that a sitcom is stringing as many jokes as you can get in 22 minutes. It's all about the jokes. Can you make people laugh when they read the script? Certainly the jokes are important, but any producer on any sitcom on the air will tell you that what they look for in a spec script is the story. They can add the jokes later. They're not worried about that. What's hard to come up with is a sitcom story that will be appealing to the audience that can be the structure, the framework to hang the jokes on. And that's a talent most writers don't have. So, Again, I'm just trying to get the focus onto the, the real problem that has to be solved if you're a writer trying to break in, which is write a great spec script, because this is the calling card that makes all the difference. That is what makes or breaks your career if you want to work in television. And know the show that you're submitting the script to. Don't do you know, a certain genre one for a sitcom that Exactly. Know the culture of you have to know that show top to bottom. And that's why, uh, as I was saying earlier, one of the ways you determine which show to write for is it's not just a show that's highly respected by the critics, that's popular with the audience. It's a show that you love, that you watch religiously, so that you really know how that thing works. That's what they're looking for under the surface.